guys, what's going on? It is Kirby here today, and we are back for another video. Today, we are doing a Black Ops 3 commentary. Today is my first Black Ops 3 commentary, but it is my third or fourth in my commentary series. Today, we will be talking about the Black Ops 3 paint shop. So if you guys don't know what the paint shop is, is it's basically the emblem creator for weapons. So there's a certain part on every weapon in the game that you can design the camo for it yourself and use it in game and it's really awesome and I'm going to tell you all about it today. So that's awesome. Um, if you want to know how to do it, you need to go to the main menu or the main multiplayer menu and then press the menu button which is the three lines on your controller uh, if you're on Xbox. Uh, one, I don't know what the PlayStation button is, but um, that is the button you need to press. It'll pull up, and Paint Shop's the biggest thing on there, and it is really easy to find. Uh, there's also some other stuff that was locked in the beta that I wish we could have got to experiment with, like the Emblem Creator or something of that sort, but we weren't able to, so today uh, we just got to cover the Paint Shop. Like I said, the Paint Shop is very cool. Like I said, it's basically an Emblem Creator, but it's more like a weapon kit creator but I'm gonna tell you how to use it its features um, how it's gonna affect the game and how it's gonna have an effect on YouTube so first off how to use it so basically it's exactly like the black ops 2 or advanced warfare emblem creator but it has a few new high-tech features so you can now pick the material of what you want for um, what your color is so as you can see there's blue on the kind of face of my camo right now well what you can do is you can make it like a uh, carbon fiber or something of that sort to make it have a little more pizzazz and just make it a little bit cooler I can't believe I just said pizzazz that's really awkward also now we have an opacity um, measure I don't know if we had that in the uh, black ops 2 and advanced warfare emblem creators I never saw it but you can lower and up the opacity of items now to make them kind of fade in but <laughs> anyway you can lower the opacity you can also have your own color blending options now. So if you don't want the crappy preset color that they give you, you can make your own color, which I think is very, very cool. And I think it's gonna help a lot of people out. And these um, added features are gonna make it way easier and uh, make the skins way more detailed. And it's gonna be absolutely epic. Also, if you look on the right, we actually have coordinates, guys. You can be that precise with what you're doing now. You can know the exact coordinates of what you're doing and so you can keep everything symmetrical and it's just absolutely insane the detail that you can put into these things also you might be able to see that you do have 64 layers to work with over here on these um, items or uh, on these guns so uh, you do have a lot of layers to work with uh, usually every gun has three sides I'm pretty sure everyone has three sides it's these sides of the gun and then you can do the top the top usually doesn't have much space to work on but usually both sides have a pretty good amount of space to work on so overall the mechanic itself is really good I didn't see any flaws in it it worked flawlessly for me and it worked absolutely great so next I want to talk about its effects in game um, I honestly think it's gonna bring a more counter-strike esque feel into the game it's gonna make people want to make their skins better I feel a lot of people are gonna put a lot of time into this uh, skin creator or I'm gonna call them skins but this paint shop mode because if you don't know anything about counter-strike there are skins in counter-strike and people actually pay money for them and people pay a lot of money for them a a lot of money for them. There's guns that go upward of $2,000. It's absolutely crazy. I'm not going to get into that in this video. But basically, everyone tries to get the coolest skin. So I feel like everyone's going to just try to pimp their guns out so much. And you're going to see some ridiculous guns in game. And I feel like a lot of the time is going to go into this paint shop like it used to be uh, everyone wanted some cool emblems now everybody's want, gonna want a cool uh, gun camo 
Also, what I do need to note is this camo does not cover the whole gun. This camo um, just covers a portion of the gun. The other portion of the gun will be covered by in-game camo, like the ones we've always seen in games, but this part you can create your own. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pick which camo you like and then adjust your um, paint shop to whatever fits that camo. So it's gonna be so cool to see what people do with their designs and it'll just be awesome to see in general. It's gonna be awesome running around seeing everyone's designs and seeing all the cool stuff that you can do. Also, I did forget to mention in the features that you can make outlines of objects. So if you just want like a circle, but you want the outline of a circle, you can just press the X button on Xbox and it'll just automatically hit an outline of that object that you have selected. Finally, we are covering the YouTube effect. I think this is going to take YouTube by storm, honestly. I think a lot of people are going to be able to get really big off of these uh, paint shop skins just as they wore off the emblem creator. I think this will have a major effect on YouTube. It'll bring a whole new type of uh, YouTubers into the Call of Duty scene, just like what the emblems did in Black Ops 2. There were emblem tutorials, there were top 10 emblems. I mean, it was insane. I feel a lot of people are going to take advantage of this new paint shop, and a lot of cool designers and artists and creative people out there are going to be able to make some pretty cool skins and they can show them on YouTube and give tutorials on how to make them and I think that'll be really great for the Call of Duty scene. It'll bring more variety and just more replay value because instead of if you're kind of tired of the game, you're not having a good day, you just you can't play, get on, look at a tutorial and make a skin. Um, I think it'll be great. I know there's going to be people making top five uh Call of Duty paint shop skins, and I think that's absolutely epic, guys. I'll probably be doing that myself. If I'm not doing tutorials, I'm gonna try to do tutorials, but I'm not a very creative person, so I don't know how I'm gonna do about that, as you can probably tell from my skin, I'm not a very creative person. But I will definitely be doing top five um, weapon paint shop skins. I'll be scouring Twitter and anywhere people post paint shop skins, and I'll be putting them up there um, for you guys to see and just look at them, because I mean, some of these things are gonna be really cool and people have already made some really cool ones and I just like you see them so if you want to put them on your guns yourself you can do that but anyway guys thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe for more black ops 3 content and commentaries and guys again just thanks so much for watching like comment subscribe consider criticism on subs and I will see you guys next time